Hey guys, Mark here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tie a 4 byte Turk's head using enlargement process number 1. There are two ways of expanding a 2 byte Turk's head, and this is one of them. So let's start. I am removing the working end from the Turk's head to show you where the enlargement process begins. If it begins on the right side of the standing end, this is enlargement process number 1. If it begins on the left side of the standing end, it is called enlargement process number 2. We're going to do the enlargement process number 1 in this tutorial, so let's start this one. So to start, we're going to parallel our standing end to the other side of the knot, basically going under where it goes under and over where it goes over. This is called laying the tracks. We're basically creating two parallel cords that we're going to split on the next pass. But for now, we're going to lay the tracks to the top of our knot. So we have come here to the top. And we're now going to go into the knot. We're going to go the same as the cord to our right or opposite to the cord to our left. So if the cord to our left goes under, we're going to go over. Then it goes over, so we're going to go under. Then it goes under 2, so we're going to go over 2. Then it goes over, so we're going to go under. And this is laying the tracks that we will split on our last pass. So we have laid the tracks now, and we are now going to travel up and split the pairs. This is basically done by going opposite to these two cords. So these two cords go under the first cord here, so we're going to go over it. So over this one, then they go over, so we're going to go under. Then they go under 2, so we're going to go over 2. Then they go over, so we're going to go under. And finally over to exit the knot. Now we're going to go back in. We enter the knot going under because the previous chords go over, if you look carefully. Then they go under, so we go over, and so on. Basically, you need to be careful to go opposite to these two chords, and the knot will form correctly. Okay, we have now reached the standing end and we finish by placing our cord next to the standing end. And with this we have our 4 byte Turks head ready for any project that we want to do with it. So guys, I hope that you find this tutorial to be of use. Thank you for joining me, see you next time.